Over the last few years, Ashes of Creation has given us many, 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 many updates on all sorts of features for the game, making just about every single one of my earlier videos completely out of date. Because that is what happens when you make content for a game that isn't due out until 2096. But that's about to change as today, we are going back to our Richie SH roots and talking about the Ashes of Creation systems. Because here at Intrepid Studios, we pride ourselves in two things. Giving our staff real offices like this one that I am currently in, not being fake at all, being completely real with real figurines on the desk, and that right there is a real hat. Don't, it's, I really could pick that up if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but I could. And number two, giving players features for this MMORPG that are refreshing, make sense for the game and engage with players allowing for them to earn cool new rewards and forward their progression which with that being said you should already know what i'm talking about it's obviously the monster coin system right because that's exactly what that system does yeah have you ever dreamed of just murdering somebody finding a magical coin on their body and inserting yourself right up into a monster to attack a city and then go murder more people just to be able to earn a cool cosmetic skin. Nothing else, just a cosmetic skin because Ashes of Creation does not have enough of these and there is not enough to go around. So you gotta climb up into that monster and you gotta earn that cosmetic. You gotta take it, you just gotta take that cosmetic Yeah, because in a world of 64 classes, an in-depth crafting system, node and guild politics, dungeons, raids, PvP arenas, castle sieges, and so much more, who the hell wouldn't want to turn into the monster for the sole purpose of cosmetics? It really brings back that old school RuneScape feel of when that random frog pops up, annoying the heck out of you, and you just have to kiss it to make it go away. The reason this monster coin system only rewards cosmetics though and nothing else is because you can buy the coins on the in-game cosmetics store and if you gain XP or cool armor or weapons or really any forward progression at all on something that people spend real life money on, well, everyone would be crying that Ashes of Creation is pay to win and probably still play the game regardless. But if you don't want to spend money on these coins, well, your mom's credit card is safe because the coins are also a rare drop from within the game. Monster coin events are considered one of the dynamic world events that will happen at any given moment on your server. These events could be triggered from nodes leveling up, season changes, certain NPCs being killed, or even to celebrate the birth of your first child. But when those monster coin events pop up, get ready for some monster on human action as players will be able to activate those coins in their inventory to, well, you guessed it, become a monster. And depending on that event, you could be this weird spider looking thing or even a dragon. Although you won't be able to progress in these events in the sense of leveling up or getting new gear, you will be able to level your monster skill system depending on how often you participate in these events. What you gain from this though is really unknown, probably cosmetics. The events themselves will also progress on a node level where there are different types of events for all size monster lovers depending on that node. Legion events, which are the most common that can happen up to village stage nodes, which could be just some zombies strolling through a nice node looking to pick some flowers. Elite monster events for the village to metropolis stage nodes could be some dungeon level bosses and mobs coming to destroy all of that hard work and time you put in everything. And then there are epic events for city and metropolis nodes, which have legendary bosses such as dragons who want to destroy all of that hard progress you and your fellow citizens put into that node. Imagine just finally finalizing those divorce papers for playing Ashes of Creation too much and a dragon comes through and just wipes out all of that invested time. It would be kind of great, wouldn't it? Overall, these monster coin events add a fun dynamic to Ashes of Creation where they may not have any huge implications besides breaking some node buildings, but they will instead make you regret that previous cosmetic skin you bought with a cooler looking one you got from a monster's butt. If you made it this far into the video, well, I'm very confused as to why. 
but you should probably just click that subscribe button anyways. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, comment down below if you are excited for the monster coin system and be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.